गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई निधि योर कंप्यूटर टीचर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू वर्क इन अ स्लाइड एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस क्लास हाउ टू इंसर्ट अ स्लाइड हाउ टू क्रिएट अ प्रेजेंटेशन हाउ टू सेव अ प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू वर्क इन अ स्लाइड यू कैन सी हियर देर आर नंबर ऑफ स्लाइड आर विजिबल you can delete any slide just right click on the slide and slide get deleted from the screen right click on that slide selected slide get deleted from the screen if you want to add a new slide for that we are using two ways one is click on the insert tab sorry home tab and choose option new slide a new slide get inserted Another way to insert a slide on the screen is shortcut key. Control plus M is the shortcut key to insert a new slide. In the in the same way, you can insert multiple slides in your presentation. Shortcut key is Control plus M. You can see here, I have inserted six slides by using shortcut key by pressing Control plus M for the slide. Now. a slide appear on the screen with two place holder you can see a slide with appear on the screen with two place holders you can click inside the place holder to enter the text you can type any text here if you move to the next place holder click outside the place holder you can type here also same way you can add the content to your slide now i am i have insert that content on slide number 6 now i have moved to the because that slide is selected now there are different layouts available for the slide all the layouts are available in the layout option which is given in the home tab first layout option is title slide in this you just add the title of your slide if you want to write the content with the title for that you have to use option title and content next one is section header if you want to give heading we are section for that we are using section header if you want to give two comparison or you can say that two content on your slide for that you are using you can use two content layout if you want to compare between two slide for that you have to use comparison if you want to just give the title to your slide nothing else you want to give for that you have to use title only at the end of the your presentation if you want to give blank layout or blank slide for that you have to use blank layout content with caption if you want to give the content to your slide and their caption also for that you have to use layout content with caption picture with caption layout this layout option is used for to give the caption to your picture you can use any layout given in the home tab by using drop down of layout option i have opted here title and content you can see it here title and content first you have to write here title of your slide i have written l e k m s l e k m s here i have written library here i have written computer rooms or you can say that lab here i have written accounts department in the same way you can add content to your slide if you want to write on now second slide just click on that slide that slide get appear now here i have given library i have made this slide for the library same way you can choose multiple slide and give 
the content on the slide or write the content on the slide now we are discussing how to format the formatting text on a slide how to do formatting on a slide there are two groups for the formatting font group and paragraph group come under the home tab to format the text on a slide select the placeholder select the placeholder in which you want to do formatting first there are two placeholder on a slide as i said select the placeholder that contain the text to be formatted i want to format that text after that you have to choose option you can make it bold italic underline put a line under over the text you can increase or decrease their size by using font size option or you can change their color there are different color available in the font color you can choose any option of your choice in the same way you can do formatting here also you can apply any bullet here or you can apply any numbering roman counting or alphabet here also you can align your text in the center of the slide on the on the right of the slide on the left of the slide or you can do justify equal margin from the left and right of the slide in the same way you can use all the formatting option for your slide now we are going to discuss about how to insert a word art in a slide word art option exists and come under the insert tab if you want to apply word art for that you have to choose option or click on the insert tab word art is used to insert attractive text on a slide if you want to write any attractive text on a slide for that we are using option word art click on the insert tab choose option word art given over there there are different word art styles are given over there a gallery appear with different word art styles click the style of your choice i have opt that style a word art box appears on the slide with your text here written is over there you can see here replace the text with your text replace the text with your text you start writing i have written here welcome to the class welcome to the class after writing your content click outside it you can move it anywhere just drag the cursor and you can place it anywhere on your slide background contents you here Just write which picture you want 
to add in your slide. I have written here computer, then click on go. Number of picture get available. Just click on that picture, which picture you want on your slide. I have click on that picture. One more time, I will tell you how to insert the picture. Click on the insert tab, choose option clip art. Which picture you want to insert in your in your slide, you have to write a picture name here. Here I have written computer. You can opt any picture from here. Just click on that picture to get inserted on your slide. You can change the size of the picture with the help of mouse. Just drag the mouse till where you want that picture. Just get resized. Now, next option is how to apply a theme. To apply a theme on a presentation, for that we are using design tab. All the themes are available in the design tab. Themes will come under the design tab. We can see that theme is basically a set of background design, font styles, color layout. Theme is a set of background designs, font styles, and color layout. You can see here above that style. Background of all the theme, the uh, background of all the slide get changed. You can choose any theme for your presentation. Number of themes are given over there. All the themes will come under the design tab. Click on the design tab. Choose any theme of your choice. Click on the design tab. Click on more button. Number of themes are given over there. Click a theme from the gallery to apply it to all the slide. That theme get applied on your presentation. Now, how to save a presentation? Click on the file tab. Choose option Save as. Choose the desired location where you want to save your file in your computer. Give the file name. I have given here LAKMS and save as type. Extension of the PowerPoint file is .pptx. That is the extension. In which format your PPT file get saved is .pptx. That is the extension of PowerPoint file. Different formats are given over there. You can save or choose any extension for your file in which format you want to save your file. I have up there PPT that is the extension of PowerPoint file. Then click on the save button. Your file gets saved on the desktop with the name of LAKMS. You can see here file name get displayed on the title bar. Thank you class and revise all the topics which I have discussed today and in the previous class also for more clarity and do all the assignments which I have given in both the classes.